Good morning, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Today is Saturday. It is January 7th, um, and in we are in the um, Christmas season. This is the Saturday uh, before the great celebration of the Epiphany. Friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips. Actually, before we begin the invitatory, as I've mentioned for the last couple of days, um, as of uh, after tomorrow, um, I will not be posting uh, morning prayer videos. Um, I will be back. Uh, I'm just going to be away from the parish. Uh, I have a wedding that's out of state uh, and then visiting some family as well. So um, I will be back, uh, not that week, uh, but the following week, I believe Wednesday the 18th, 19th, um, something like that. So. Um, we will still pray with and for one another, just not through this format. Uh, it'll be even, I don't know, more virtual. That being said, okay, friends, let's begin our morning prayer now with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. O come, all ye faithful, Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels, sing in exaltation. Sing, all ye citizens, of heaven above. Glory to God, glory in the highest. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. 
Though the wicked spring up like grass and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown. O proclaim the greatness of our God, the rock, how faultless his deeds, how right all his ways. A faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is he not your father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Extol the greatness of our God. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle. Yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air, and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name. You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. 
They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord has made known. Alleluia, Alleluia. His saving power. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has made known. Alleluia, Alleluia. He is the one of whom it has been written, Christ is born in Israel. His kingdom will last forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the one of whom it has been written, Christ is born in Israel. His kingdom will last forever. <clears throat> All the ends of the earth have seen Jesus Christ, the saving power of God. Let us praise him and cry out in joy. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Redeemer of all, you came to tear down the walls of sep you came to tear down the walls separating Jew from Gentile. Root out out root out the prejudices which erode the depths of our humanity. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through your incarnation and your birth, you established your presence among us. Teach us to recognize the many forms of your presence in the church and in one another. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the fullest revelation of God to men and women. Show us how we can assent to your word with integrity of faith and action. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are God with us, wondrously transforming all creation. Let every heart, every voice, every deed throughout the universe now be transformed. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? Friends, as we call to mind the prayers and the intentions on our own hearts, let us remember now all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, and gathering all of these prayers into one, we lift up our voices praying those sacred words, those that Jesus himself taught us, praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, you give us a new vision of your glory in the coming of Christ, your Son. He was born of the Virgin Mary and came to share our life. May we come to share his eternal life in the glory of your kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to join together each morning, praying this prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, on behalf of the church, and indeed for all of her members. And how good it is too then for you and I that we are able to be this little group of prayer warriors, not just praying for e with each other in each morning, but being able to pray with and for one another throughout the day so that whatever you face today, all of your glories, all of your joys, all of your challenges, all of your struggles, you don't face any of that alone because we have one another praying with, praying for each other throughout the day. So friends, then, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, to be healthy today, to be happy today. But above all, remember to be holy today, to live, it, to live out today the holiness of Jesus Christ in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.